Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. This is going to be uh, an episode with, I think, a lot of accomplishments. First things first, we're going to fix up a bit of a problem we're having that you can already see all the red notifications for. And then we're going to continue our, uh, well, our, our, our internal constructions preparing for our new fabric factory. Hopefully we can get to that today. But uh, there is some stuff to take care of first. Now I want to mention really quickly a big thanks to everybody who has been enjoying this series. It's actually great to see so many of you tagging along for the ride. Uh, and I do greatly appreciate you leaving those likes and comments down below. As always, it helps me make judgment calls on the channel. What kind of content to pursue, what to slow down, what to speed up. And uh, because of your likes and comments, and please don't hesitate to keep them coming, I'm actually considering doubling up on episodes of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Might actually do one on Wednesdays and one on uh, one on Sundays. You know, that might be uh, a decent pace, and hopefully if the interest stays up, we'll keep it at that rate. Maybe we pick it up even further. Or if, you know, interest kind of wanes, we'll slow it down to Sundays only again. So again, like I say always, not only do I read the comments and get great joy from reading through some of your uh, suggestions and questions and queries and concerns, uh, but I also look at those numbers to kind of understand what I should do more or less of. Anyways, enough of that, Tovarish. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first big problem that we kind of need to solve. Gridlock. And gridlock is, uh, I don't know if that's even the right word for this. I mean, technically the grid is locked, but it's because of some silliness over here. Unfortunately, because we've stopped producing power, because we don't have workers at the power plant, this train just so happened to stop right here, blocking our buses, preventing more workers from arriving at the power plant, preventing more power from being produced, preventing these trains from moving. So we have this uh, very awkward situation. Now, the solution is very simple. We're going to get that solution to happen, and then I'm actually going to build a bridge to uh, make this crossing a lot easier. Easier. After we're done that, again, quick solution, we'll pay for it out of our pocket. Unfortunately, we will have to spend a little bit of money today. Um, but after we do that, we're going to turn our attention back up over here, where we're going to continue building our warehouse and road um, cargo station situation over here. Try to get all that set up over here so we can import our own mechanical and electronic components. Uh, import our own, that sounds like an oxymoron. Import them so that we can use them for our own constructions. Uh, as you can see, for example, this road over here can't be completed until we have electronic components. So I uh, just have to do a little bit of work there to sort that out. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, again, we'll probably use some bridges to, to bridge a gap over here and uh, and then and then delete this road over here and, and, and work things out over here. But anyway, I, I digress. Uh, after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our fabric factory built over here. Now, if you don't remember why we're rushing for a fabric factory as a opposed to something more lucrative perhaps, it's because our fabric factory is actually going to help us reduce cost price. Right now, of the uh, export of resources, you can see that uh, clothes actually makes 13k for us. So far this month, halfway through the month, 13k, that's not bad. That's not bad. However, if we take a look at the import, we have imported 11k of fabric. That's reducing our profits significantly, significantly, and we can cut that. We can cut that to zero, basically. If we get a, fa uh, if we get a, sorry, fabric factory set up over here, hooked up to our clothing factory, keep that uh, constant supply of fabric. Maybe even export some because fabric actually, sorry, sells for a pretty penny as well. So we can actually make a decent bit of money over here, not only through fabric, but also through savings. And a penny saved is a penny earned, as they say. So that's the reason for the rush to the fabric factory. After that's done, we're going to actually get the oil set up. And this probably won't happen this session, but we're going to go ahead and take advantage of these oil pockets that we have over here. Um, lots of uh, lots of oil to be had. Oil rigs don't need workers either, apparently. So we'll pay for the construction of these, just so we don't have to bother with getting workers out to here uh, and and resources as well. But we'll pay for the construction of these, and then we'll get a train network set up to either export the oil uh, back out, you know, to uh, where is it? To uh, Tazales, or maybe even send it up over here to like Calzina or uh, Karabadag, just because it might be a little bit closer and cheaper to go from here up north to Calzina. We wouldn't have to cut through the mountains with a tunnel and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. It'll be faster for sure. But uh, oil itself is also quite a worthwhile item. Uh, the per ton price is relatively low. Once we process it into fuel and bitumen, we'll be making a lot more off of it. So that's something to consider as well. We'll process all of that, no problem. But if we take a look at uh, 45 per ton, right? 
uh, each oil rig makes 7 tons. So 45 per ton times 7. Well, actually, let's, let's ignore that. Right, 45 per ton. If we take a look at how much one... Uh, one tank can actually carry. It's 45 per ton, and we have a tanker over here. Whoops, oh, I actually bought that. <laughs> that was a silly misclick. Um, sorry, well, it's okay. We'll need it eventually anyway. But one oil tanker can carry 60 tons of oil. If it's 45 per ton, 45 times 60 is over 2k. I could do this math really quickly. 45, 6, 6, 24, 2004. It's a lot of money. I'm not gonna sit here and do math. Oh, there's this one as well. For not, oh, for twice the price, it ships twice the oil. Okay, well, my point being, there is money to be made from oil. Um, we just gotta go ahead and tap the uh, tap the the, the resources, the, the supplies, and, and start shipping it out. Again, I digress. Talking about the future, let's think about the present. Let's solve this problem real quick over here. Uh, go ahead and get a semaphore set down. Now, I was talking about building a relief road line and stuff, all that crazy stuff. That was my uh, my fatigue talking. Uh, what I actually need to do over here is much simpler, much cheaper as well. Go ahead and set up some oops semaphores. It doesn't matter which direction they face because that will basically tell the railroad that this section is actually unoccupied right now. So I can go in and cancel the railway over here just like that go ahead and delete you all the way to there all the way to there wondering actually if i want to keep the semaphore on this side or, or shift it over to that side well let's just let's let, let's leave that's not the point right now let's go ahead and get rid of that and now when i hit play the buses and all will start moving the train is of course stuck there but there you go see that the traffic can now move because there is no train track they're slowing them down and once the traffic kind of uh relieves itself i suppose is the best word to <laughs> express it once that's done, uh, we'll be able to replace this road with a bridge and uh, and, and get all this moving again, get the, the trains connected again and everything. Um, but yeah, we got to get people up to the power plant and stuff. This is just kind of silly that that happened in the first place. It was just a matter of timing, serendipity. Well, I think serendipity is typically positive. This was just bad luck. Um, but yeah, just, just going to take us a moment over here. Uh, it's a little bit longer. Hopefully we'll all be gone soon. This train will be stuck over here for a little while. It is getting power now, though, so as you can see, all we needed was a couple of people. Now let's actually go ahead and up how many bricks we're making, just because we're going to need bricks in the very near future. All right, I think we can stop it now. Should be able to cancel the road construction over here. Yes, nice. Okay, good. Now, this is a bit of a, a, bit of a problem that I, I, I need to make a bridge that takes into consideration this intersection. That's the annoying part. Now, I will say that I'm going to go with the uh, the brick bridge, even though it's a little bit pricier, I think. If I go ahead and do a little test, uh, let's go ahead and test how much it costs to go from here to here. Right. <laughs> how much it costs to go from here to here. Sure, okay. So this costs... Again, we're spending money for these. Come on, there we go. So this costs about, like, nine... And just over nine, whereas this would cost, if I can get the clicks right, ah, uh, come on, this would cost about six, this would cost about, if I can, again, if I can get the, there, oh, almost, oh, no, this isn't a perfect science, obviously, about eight, I think I start from that light, actually, so also, yeah, about eight and a half, so again, the brick bridges are a bit pricier, but I do think I like how they look nice. I like the idea of a brick bridge. I don't know if I can actually do a tunnel down here instead. I wouldn't mind that either. Uh, might look a bit nicer, but no. Let's go with the brick bridge. And the way you build these is you gotta set up your... I don't know if that's high enough. Go ahead and not auto-build right from the get-go. If we do that, and then we go across, I... I don't know if the train can actually go underneath that. Cancel that. Make some more room over here. Um, something like that, maybe. Like that. Right, and then from here, can we go up? Please tell me we can go up. Overlaps with existing construction. Is that the uh, power lines? Maybe that's the power lines. Looks like it. Let's go ahead and just delete. What are you connected to? Down there. Okay, cool. Go ahead and demolish you. Real easy. Go. 
angle of connection is too sharp? What do you mean? Oh, come on. Work with me here, game. Work with me here. Collapse existing construction. Angle is too sharp. Seriously? Oh, ah, there we go. Okay, so if I do that... Hold on. Get a little bit closer. And if I do something like that... Look too pretty. Something like that. Really rough. Don't think a train can get past underneath that. Visually, again, like it probably from like a gameplay perspective, it probably can. Like just like that's how the game works, but that's not necessarily what I want to take advantage of. I don't like that kind of approach, I guess. Desperate times call for desperate measures, obviously, but I'd rather not do it. Come on, I had a spot here. I know I did. There it is. Okay, if we do that, and then we connect you two. Will you connect? No, you're different heights, aren't you? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. We'll, they will connect. Oh, look nice. And do something like that. And then like that. Um... Close, but no cigar. Okay. And cancel these. Alright. Sorry, sorry this is going to take some time, folks. I mean, what I could do is I could actually edit this out. I really know if uh, the preference is that I edit things out or not. I do that, and then I do... Okay, you know what? I think the trains can believably go underneath that. Not a big fan of how bridges get built in this game. If we do something like that... Great enough, okay. And then we pull, wow, awkward looking bridge. One side is, is like super, it's like a ramp to launch you up and the other side wants to be a much softer gradient. Okay, um, how about we go ahead and do we flatten the train a little bit? Maybe that'll help the situation. I don't know if yeah, we really can't. Okay, you know what? This is, this, is, this is fine. That's fine. Kind of a weird shape, really. But if that's what it takes, go ahead and see if we can make these connect. Looks like we can. All right, excellent. Okay, cool. So yeah, again, we're going to allow auto construction of this stuff. Let's go ahead and get the uh, railway as well reconnected. Ah, uh, no, okay, the infrastructure is in the way. Okay, great. Fantastic. The railways only. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Guess we gotta go a little bit higher then. Start from this side. Oh, this is... Gonna be fun. Okay, let's do that. That looks... I, I'd buy that. Right. Train, come on. Lost the existing construction. Looks like we can go under. What existing construction are we talking about? I get rid of this semaphore. Because I know a lot of time that causes trouble. Yeah, it looks like it is the bridge. We can go underneath it, just not... Not like this. Okay, fair enough. Struggling with a bridge. This is... Interesting. Does that look right? And what I could do is I could just start with the railroad first. Here's some... <laughs> Simplest clicks, sometimes. Like so, and like so, and then I should be able to build. Crossing not allowed. Ah, ah. There we go. There we go, perfectly natural looking. Perfectly natural looking. At least we gotta get a little bit further back, I guess. Alright.
All right. There we go. Wow, isn't that... <laughs> doesn't that look like an actual bridge? You know what? Well, the Soviet Republic. If it works, it works. All right, let's go ahead and connect you. Excellent. We can go over this. A bit of a launch ramp over here and a bit more of a gradual ramp over here, depending on which way you're trying to get to. And the trains should work as well. Let's go ahead auto build the tracks and let's go ahead and auto build the roads and bridges and everything hit that play button and this should make sure we never see a problem like that ever again let's go ahead and turn you around send you towards the customs house this should work all oh, right all right i need the uh, semaphores that we got rid of right side for moving up there we go right That should do the trick. Let's go ahead and move you towards the cargo station. What's the deal? We're all kind of backed up over here. You are... Let's go ahead and... Unloading crops. You know what? Turn around. Let's... Yeah, let's go. Send you through. Hopefully that frees some trains up. I think it's just a matter of everything happening all at the same time. Come on, push through. That's your green. There we go. We are draining money right now, folks. Okay, you've pushed through. Does that release you? It does not. It doesn't. Why would it? Why would it? Go ahead and clip you. Once you get through, it should release this train. It's just a matter of, again... Everything's linked. Everything's everything's connected here. All right, you're going to get through. Right. Okay, good stuff. Now you freed up. Excellent. There we go. Looks like we've got motion here. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're going to get freed. Excellent. All right. Those bosses. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is something special. I might need to move this construction office just for my own sanity. Oh, hold on a second. I just realized I got rid of this uh, voltage, medium voltage wire here. And I did not reconnect it. Go ahead and fix that problem real quick. There we go. Power's back. Yeah, I might need to move this and, and, and pull it back over there or something just so I don't have to look at this madness over here. But hey, pretty cool to see the, you know, the, the, the bridge. If, if we like crop it like that. Pretend that that side of the bridge just doesn't exist. Yeah, see this, this I can get behind. This I can, I can get, I can get behind. And I am glad I went with the uh, the brick bridge, rather than the you know any of the other options. Where's the train when you need it? Trying to make a nice, uh, a nice shot. There, there we go. See, there we go. See, yeah, there we go. This, this looks like a normal bridge in a normal city, with normal trains and normal buses. Ignore this part. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and deal with our situation up over here now. Enough time wasted fixing that one problem. That was a, that was a long, long time. Let's go ahead and do this. So, first things first, we actually have to cancel some of the uh, roads in this area just to free this up. What I might want to do first is set this up as a bit of a relief line, so to speak. We're going to get bridges over here as well. Again, glorious bridges of all the problems in the world. I wonder if I can cancel that. No, I can't. This is, this is going to be a problem because this is one of the most busy parts of our uh, city, I believe. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Good. Can I cancel you as well? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Wow. So we're going to cancel all of this, right? Um, these guys need to get through a little bit so I can do the bridges over here. I'm going to load up stuff. You're going to leave. You're coming through to load up stuff. That's fine. As long as we don't get too busy. Now, hopefully, all these things that are confused will realize they can go around this way. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? This road hasn't been completed. So, let's go ahead and fund this one. It's fine. 11K. Not the end of the world. We just need it built. It's got the, the, the electronic components it needs that we don't have. Uh, actually, it was pointed out in the comments that I should make better use of dirt roads and roads that need uh, less stuff to build. Especially in places where we don't need... Those roads, why are you stuck? Okay, there we go, we're moving. One at a time now. Don't, don't rush out. Don't rush out. You, you know what? I don't have time for this. We're going to send you back around. 
All right, go, 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 go. Because again, I want to get this all sorted right here, right now. Okay, good stuff. Looks like we're going to have a clearing here. All right, done. Let's go ahead and count. There we go, beautiful. What I want to do is I want to try and get couple of things so we're gonna have a road up over here maybe we'll just make it a regular asphalt actually we'll be we'll be paying for all these roads as well uh just because we have to get all this working we'll make that money back soon enough like we are at 1.01 where's our steel train i was really hoping you'd be in in the station showing me how much money you're gonna make me where'd you go buddy okay okay well it's not loaded up yet but you know what we'll, we'll we make a lot of money off steel we'll be fine is my point we'll be fine so, let's go ahead and get another brick bridge. Go ahead and not auto-build it right away. Right, so it'll be up like, like this. And then it'll go across, and that looks like it works. Game allows it, so it must. And then it'll drop back down. Oh, it's kind of messy. Okay, drop back down to here. Okay, we can actually fit underneath there, so okay, so drop back back down to here. This looks like a more normal bridge, actually. Go ahead and make this connection. Let's send you through this way. Connect you like so. Go ahead and cancel the road over here. Okay, good stuff. And over here, just so we have access to that still, we're gonna go ahead and get... Come on. Work with me, game. Work, work with me. Oh, come on. Oh! Ah, there's a spot there. You know it's possible. There it is. There it is. Ah, I see you. Come on. <laughs> Work with me. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this will help keep this connection alive. Um allow vehicles to go this way rather than have to loop all the way around this way this road kind of ends up being useless if i'm completely honest so i'm a little annoyed at myself for that but we've got this glorious construction uh that we can be proud of so that's all well and good let's focus on building our uh argo road station which is going to be a road cargo station sorry which is going to be over here so the plan is we're going to have this over here uh, like so, and the warehouse over here, right? So let's go ahead and get this thing laid out first. There will be a lot of flattening required, so let's let's not fuss around. Let's go ahead and get that leveling happening right now. And I'd really like to try and build both of these structures entirely using homegrown, homemade materials. Uh, because I believe we can. We might need some mechanical components. Um, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, actually. I'll double check, but I, I do think we can build these entirely on our own. So I want to try that. That'd be a really proud moment for our Soviet Republic. I think at least. That's what I think. All right, keep flattening. We could work a little bit faster over here. That'd be great. A little bit faster. It'll slow some times to flatten terrain. I'm worried I might have to destroy some of these, um, these uh, constructs up there, though, the conveyor belts and stuff. That would be a little bit of a pain. But do it. I'd rather not have to. Oh, no, no. Down. Down. There we go. Alright, you know what? That's looking good enough to start laying stuff down. So let's go ahead and get the road cargo station. I'll put you somewhere like... Here, maybe. Okay. Gotta get that road to come through as well. Okay, so if we put you down like so, right... And we go and get a regular asphalt road, or I can build a mud road. Now, a mud road moves traffic very slowly, but we don't actually need to build anything here. So, that is an option for now. We'd have to upgrade it later, though. Or I could just build an asphalt road, which we which we can afford to do. We can do it ourselves. We don't have to import electronic components. It's cheaper, and it only runs a little bit slower, I think. A little bit slower. Can we not? There we go. we we'll do something like that. And then that, okay, I'm happy enough with that. So that's the connection to the road cargo station, cargo road station, road cargo station, yeah. And then we want to loop, oh Jesus, that doesn't really work. i going to check that first. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's not the end of the world. Got to give you some time to demolish. There we go. Something like that maybe instead. Like, 
This perhaps? No. Let's try this. Okay. Oh, yes, there we go. Excellent. Alright, alright. So we can do this. This we can do. Ish, come on. There we go. Alright. And I'm pretty sure that's enough space to fit a warehouse as well. Alright, cool. So now let's go ahead and get this sorted. Go ahead and pull you up this way. And like so. Yeah, I'm happy with that curve. That's not too bad at all. And it's nice. It kind of happens right over here. Uh, then over here, let's go ahead and get our factory connections. And I think factory connections also only cost, yeah, asphalt and gravel. So we can actually do all of this on our own. Pretty exciting. Okay, warehouse. You're right here. Let's go ahead and get the warehouse built. Uh, oh, this is going to be struggle. Can I do that? Will the connection connect? That's the question. Let's try it, I suppose. I can do something like uh, over here, maybe. Let's go ahead and flatten the terrain. Infrastructure's in our way, but this should work. The train tracks will be useless, but I think we already accepted that fate last time. Let's go ahead and put you down like so. Factory connection should... Yes, excellent. And then the road itself... Be able to bring up like so. And then, oh, over like so. And then down like so. Tight fit, little sheer cliff over here. But you know what? That's, uh... That happens sometimes. You just kind of, like, dynamite the, the mountain sides. Alright, cool. This is awesome. So this might actually be... Folks, I'm really excited about this. This might actually be our first entirely homemade construction project, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and make sure that all of these are, uh... Yeah, constructed, right? That is the button to make them... Yes, yes, okay. So all of you are being done... You're all being done, the factory connections as well, start the constructions, uh, and then you guys are going to be, yes, okay, so let's go ahead and, we're gonna, we're gonna do this on triple speed, because that's kind of necessary over here, but I do believe we can assign road, um, you, you, oh, road connections don't exist yet, fair enough, and you, we're actually going to build these ones, we're gonna fund these, only because uh, we need these to smooth the uh, construction time out a little bit so we'll we'll spend the money we'll invest for that go sub million that's fine I spend money to make money right go and there we go hey good connection made and you as well now again that's fine not too worried about that but yeah so this is going to be our entire homegrown homemade um, construction all right. All right. Really excited for that. Now, the steel mill is working hard, and it's going to make us a bunch of money very quickly. Um, I really like it to, at least once, when I click on the train, give me a much bigger number than that. <laughs> I know it's going to go up, but it's making me nervous. All right? It's making me nervous. Let's go ahead and get ourselves back up to a million plus. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Um... Once this is all done, we'll be able to get our own mechanical components, our own, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, electronic components as well, and then we can start building everything more or less uh, entirely at home. We'll have to eventually get electronic components and mechanical components coming through, but that's something we'll, you know, that, that can wait, that can wait. Uh, I wonder if we kick it up to triple speed over here. Yeah, maybe we do. Triple speed, double speed, whatever it is. We believe our construction office is going to be moving. Right? Got, uh, nobody's work making asphalt right now, but that's fine. I'm sure, yeah, it looks like vehicles have been assigned. And we're going to get this uh, construction happening. Now, I should also at the same time keep an eye on my trains. Make sure that weird nonsense isn't happening anywhere. Just to be sure, because that costs me a lot every time it happens. Uh, where are these dumpers? There we go. There's the first one. Okay. And the good thing is that this, with this bridge done as well, we can actually reach that road and reach this warehouse pretty easily. Otherwise, they'd have to go all the way around this loop just to come up and drop stuff off there. But hey, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. 
completely homemade. I'm really excited, actually. Yeah, this only needs concrete, gravel, asphalt, and then steel eventually. And then you only need bricks, board, steel, concrete, gravel, asphalt. Yeah. Yeah. 100% homemade. I love it. And plus, these bridges look great. I find a nice, nice shot for it. That really encompasses the scale of this project because it's pretty big. Pretty big project. All right. Um. So while that's happening, while that's happening, we're going to what else are we going to do? I feel like so. I just want to address actually a comment really quickly. Um. Many of you have suggested that maybe I skip the next couple of months or something so that we uh, we don't have like financial issues slowing us down. Uh, which I totally appreciate and I totally get where you're coming from. Uh, however, I don't think we actually have financial problems. I mean, that's someone who's running a Soviet Republic into the ground, would say. Uh, no, what I mean is... Okay, sure, we're below a million right now. And yeah, that's kind of scary. But like, okay. There, we've got 23k in there right now. That's gonna bring us back up to about a million in no time, right? In no time. So I'm not too worried about that. And there, you know, more people working to uh, arriving to work at the steel mill. We're, we'll be fine. Yes, yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. So I'm not too worried about that. And the, the fact of the matter is that as we move further along, as more of these construction projects get, uh, you know, become like homegrown construction projects, the easier it becomes for us to save money while making money. So we don't have to worry as much either. And I, I think that's a part of the in my opinion, that's part of what makes this game really interesting, is that process. Now, something I'd like to do is get some more construction offices built, that way construction will happen a little bit faster, and I'm also playing on, like, double speed and stuff, so that we, while we might more often miss an issue with our trains, uh, we will also see some progress get made. So I hope you guys don't mind that, I hope that addresses that concern as well. And actually, on the topic of problems, it's been forever since we've had people work here, isn't it? Hasn't it? I think the reason for that, and we do have a couple of trains that are supposed to be going down there. But I think what happens is, yeah, I feel like maybe we should drop this number a little bit. I wanna, I'm going to keep an eye on this train, just to see what actually happens with it. I mean, hold on, let's... Why, why are you even bothering? Let's loop you back. Oh, God. Yeah. Of course, go to the next spot first. Wasted my own time there. You're gonna go. You're gonna do nothing there. I just wanted you to loop around. That's all it was. Okay, now I'm getting a bit more nervous. <laughs> that number is dropping a lot lower than I was expecting it to maybe drop, but uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Again, just a matter of that steel export going out. Each run can probably make us about 50k or so, and uh, we're the only reason we're looking at a bit of a, a negative situation right now is because we. Uh, for the cargo trains, I think. Uh, the, right, the, the reason why we're looking at a bit of a negative situation is because of that huge locking situation that we had uh, as a result of which workers stopped arriving and production slowed down and trains weren't moving. Oh my god, how many people are waiting over here? See what I mean? Like, this is all backlog stuff. Let's see what happens over here. 59% of people are supposed to get off over here. I don't know why it didn't fill up fully. But instead, everybody gets off. And that's not okay. Let's go ahead and reduce this number, maybe? The only thing I can think of. Let's reduce that number a little bit. The 39% and see what that does for us. Hey. What's going on here? You're still... Okay, yeah, yeah, we're fine. There's a cargo train waiting, I guess. Alright, fair enough. So yeah, we're gonna keep an eye on that train still. Hopefully, we'll catch it on its way back. I'll just follow it. Because I want to make sure people are coming down here. Because if people aren't coming down here, then we're not going to make livestock. And if we're not making livestock, we're not making meat. And if we're not making meat, we're buying meat. And if we're buying meat, we're wasting money. And it's all about cutting expenses right now. Oh my god, I say as these numbers continue to drop. All right, looks like we're moving smoothly here. Go on through, go on through. This bridge is working wonders for us as well. Definitely that ramp, I just can't get over it. I'll fix that eventually. I'll fix that eventually. I should also add another semaphore over here, it looks like. That's a stopping point. This is also a stopping point, but for better reason. Lots of workers arriving. Steel mill making steel very quickly. Looks like our train is on its way out, so hopefully this number will... There it is. Yeah, 54k. 
That'll take us to almost a million. Alright, you're gonna load up. Only 75. Why only 75 workers? There's a lot of people waiting. Oh, that's why. Hey, 39% get off. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. That works. Maybe it was a matter, matter of a magic number. And now also we're going to start picking up more people. I don't know how that happened. Must have been a mis mistake on my part. I mean, it was definitely a mistake on my part. Um, but we've got more people coming through now. More steel being made. Excellent. And people actually going down to uh, the livestock farm as well to produce some livestock. And then that'll actually get shipped back and be made into meat. Right? Wait, that's, that's a cargo train. There's a passenger train. You're going to come here with 25 workers, which is half of what we need, but it's more than zero, so I'll take it. Some people might actually end up going to the fire station. Yeah. Okay. Still. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. All right. One of our core things that we just stopped kind of making. All right. Looks like we're getting the work done over here. You have not been assigned. Go ahead and assign you. I know the building's not... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I meant this. There we go. connection doesn't exist yet. That's because this isn't technically done yet, I suppose. Yeah, need some time. And a little bit of asphalt. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, feeling over here. Feeling okay. Lots of coal coming through. We're at a million plus already. See what I mean? It all works out. All works out. We could just finish this. That would make me very happy. And... Are you kidding me? <laughs> we were right there. We were right there. I could spend the 8 rubles to get it done. Alright, looks like resources are being brought to finish this off as well. Yeah. Drop-offs going on over here. I wish I'd kept a track of when we started this construction. And you know what else? I wish I kept track of... The last month, holy crap, we spent 79k. This month so far, we've made 35k. So let's see if we can't counter that loss with some gains. Because again, from hopefully now on forward, we're only going to be paying for some imported goods. But all the construction, all the work days and stuff, that's going to be my investment. My people doing the work. So that should save us some money. All right, concrete just arrived. What's the deal here? Are you done yet? Oh, you are done. Okay, in that case, I need more construction offices. You, you, and of course we gotta finish this thing first. And we set priorities. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. But oh hey, we got this uh, factory connection done as well. Very cool. Like with the trains real quick. Moving smoothly. This is not smooth. Building on fire. Okay, hold on, wait. You're stuck here. You are stuck here because what? Because you want to go straight out? You want to go to the warehouse, so why don't you? I guess you have a red light because this is still blocking this path. You are loading up on goods. So let's go ahead and turn you around. I need to so sort this out. That should hopefully free things up. What building's on fire? I will be fine. Looks like the fire... Yeah, they're already here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, okay, okay, that's the, I was like, where are you going? Yeah, yeah, that's, that won't be a problem. And this looks like it's freed up as well. Oh, that's such a backlog. Yeah, fire extinguished already. Looks like I got to it quickly enough this time. Yeah, people are unloading. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Feels good. All right. Trains are all fine. How are we doing over here? Dumpers coming through, dumping stuff. Gotta get some workers in here. Workers get picked up down over here by one bus, which is on its way right now, so that's good. That's good. Oh, come on. Damn it. I'm gonna leave before these guys arrive. Fine, it's not the end of the world. This can only carry, what, like 60 or something people anyway? And you... I need to set up a loop here or something. I really wasn't expecting the trains to go all the way here to loop. That slows them down, not only for pickup, but also if there's uh, cargo trains over here, it slows them down a lot. Another thing I could do is... No, no, I should probably set a loop up over here. That's just my thinking. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? 
A loop over here would be faster, but it might make this area a little messier than I'd like it to be. A loop over here, this is already a kind of a wreck of tracks being laid out. It works, it works well enough. I mean, I could just put a little angle over there. That would make the train go down this way, maybe. Go up this way. No, it wouldn't. I mean, it would, it, it would, but then it would come back down this way. We wouldn't relieve the stress, so we'd have to do it over here to make it clean and, and quick, I think. Oh, come on. These guys just arrived. Pick them up. Take them to work. Thank you. <laughs> God damn. All right, work here is being done. We're working on this as well. And on this, we need some concrete up in here. There we go. Concrete, steel, workers happening though it's happening down over here how's the steel train doing gotta make another trip get us back up to above a million you have a lot of people working with the steel mill that's great and i could get more i could be producing steel even faster that's the best part why are we out of power missing coal excuse me because we're in an infinite loop go ahead and manual purchase some in a gear. Have a moment where we didn't have any coal miners or something. Again, I do need to solve the coal problem. The way to solve it isn't actually more coal mines. It's, um... Okay, let's go ahead and purchase. Uh, it isn't coal mines, but it's coal processing. Because coal mines are working quickly enough, I think. I think it's the processing that's too slow. I mean... Right now, it's a bit of both. Come on. Keep it going, folks. Keep it going. Let's not slow it down here. Alright, this seems to be working as well. I just want to... I want to see some of this stuff get done. Nice. I guess that guy was painting the lines on. <laughs> that got done. This is almost done as well. Just need the workers to arrive, I guess. I need some... Yeah, just need the work days. Cool here. Empty right now. Where's our train? We're out of power again. Okay. It's a joke. Come on. Shouldn't have to buy coal here. Can't just have these blackouts. Trains are working okay. Yep. What about back over... Whoops. Over here. Yeah, it looks like we're actually... Oh, hey, wow. We've topped up. Nice. That should help a fair bit. It is good. So workers waiting over here. The micro bus for the asphalt factory. This this bus needs to make it down here fast. All the workers get swallowed up. What's the deal over here? We have a lot of workers waiting here. But the trains are pretty consistent, it looks like. This train's going to come and pick up a bunch of them, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going to leave, and another train's just about to arrive to pick up a bunch more. Again, if we make this loop here perfect, then um, it'll be a lot smoother over here. Oh yeah, here we go. Picks up a bunch of them. Wow, picked up a lot of them there. 125. You not pick up as many as you could? No, you did. Fair enough. All right, steel's being stored now. Oh, would you look at that? We're a million plus. The steel train made its uh, export run. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We started the session at what, 1.08? I don't know if we'll end above it, but we're not in a trouble spot. What's the deal here? Steel just got delivered. Excellent. Again, we just need workers up here now. Good, you're carrying some. Carrying quite a few, actually. Now, again, having more construction offices would speed this up. How are we feeling over here? All coming through quickly enough? Another bus full of workers coming through. When I say full of workers, I guess I mean only a couple. There we go. Find a more people. We're at 55 a per workday right now. 50. That bumps up to like 80. Okay. Maybe the problem is with the coal mine. It's just weird because we have a constant supply of coal ore. Oh, but I guess consumption of maximum production, we want more. Okay, I see. I see, I see. 
could get more workers being delivered directly to uh, the coal mine. I really want to get the fabric factory up and running first, though. And actually, let's take a quick peek. Last month, we made plus 66k. Okay. Not as good as the uh, negative 75. It doesn't counteract the negative 75, but we made a profit. We have had three months of profit, actually. This month so far, last month was a profit month. And then, uh, you know, a handful of months ago. Well, there goes all the profit. <laughs> Why did I have to tap to this screen right now? <laughs> oh god, it's all gone. It's fine, we'll get it back soon enough. Alright, looks like this construction is almost ready to go. We're wait, waiting on some workers. Oh, they're all over here, I guess. Working away, working away. Still need a little bit more steel over here, not the end of the world. I do not want to auto-construct that stuff. Perfect timing. These guys are going to get picked up. Most of them are. And this is working at capacity-ish. I say that, I'm exaggerating. We're not even like a quarter way there. Actually, we are just a quarter way there. Okay, you're going to go up. I want to know where this bus is dropping these guys off. I assume it's at the uh, cargo station. Nope, this time around it's... This road? Do we really need that many people at this road? Where do they end up afterwards? Well, anyways... I can now assign this. Where are we? We have the road connection now. Beautiful. Taking a lot of time to do. 62 more work days required for this and 5.4 tons of steel. I could send the train off. Wow, we're, we're actually shipping almost full... Uh, well, loads, it looks like. Producing steel pretty fast. Go ahead and... Send you off, maybe? Bunch of workers arriving. 40k. You know what, fine, yeah, let's send you off. Go ahead and make that money. Okay, steel's being stored up. Hopefully we'll bring the steel right away. This place doesn't need too much steel. Right? Love seeing all the, uh... Resources getting de delivered as well. It's pretty legit. I wish the the dumpers and stuff had some animations to actually show the dumping and stuff happening, but I'll take what I can get. Now again, these won't actually have lights or anything. That's fine though, because you guys were you were absolutely right in the comments. So I, I was overdoing it. Everything had lights, and it's like, that's just not how cities are made. And it's partly because of uh, a necessity. Like, do you always need every road to be the same type of road? No, you don't. Um, and uh, and on top of that, cost, savings, money, makes the world go round. And if you spend too much of it on uh, frivolous things, like lights for every damn road, you run out of it real fast. 75 workers. 75 workers do not need to go all the way down. Let's, let's pop this up to 49%. Better split, I think. Okay, looks like we're bringing steel up. You're already back. 1.05, nice. Hopefully, where'd that vehicle go? You have 5.4 tons. 5.5 tons, alright. It looks like it is coming up to here, so this will get completed soon. This is almost done as well, just needs a couple of work days. Handful of work days, but looks like workers are being delivered. No, they're not, because this bus is empty. Ah. I was thinking, I kind of wish workers had actual jobs that they were going to, rather than just getting onto the first bus that comes their way. And yet, at the same time, I don't mind that as a system either. Please pick these guys up. Looks like you're going to be here first. Yeah, excellent. So we're going to pick these guys up and drop them off anywhere. Drop them off anywhere. This is becoming kind of messy. Wait, hold on a second. I need to sort this mess out. This is a problem. Yeah, it looks like I did not catch it in time this time. All these buses are empty. I don't want those... ...passenger trains coming this far. I think that would solve the problem. I think putting a loop here would solve the problem. I'd just rather not spend that money right now. That's the other thing. Everything costs money. There we go. 
Hopefully we can relieve some of the stress over here. Going down for who? That train? Okay, fair enough. I don't know. That, that, that never makes sense to me. No reason to slow down for that train. And I'm not saying the game has it wrong. I might have something wrong. I don't understand how trains work. But how is it that a train that's going up this path is stopping a train that's going up this path? I don't quite comprehend it. And that might that's probably just me. Right. We're being loaded up again. Already got that 14k. Good stuff. Oh my god! It's done. It's done. This has been built. Okay, now what we can do is now... You, for your bricks, prefab panels, and boards, as well as mechanical components and electronic components, will come over here. Cool. Uh, yeah, that looks right. Awesome. And once this is done, we'll be able to import electronic and mechanical components, and uh, they'll be picked up over here. Now, I was told that the road cargo station is faster at loading and unloading than just a, a small uh, open storage, or even or any size of open storage. So that's why I wanted to do this, by the way, just so you guys know uh, what the thinking was. Still need some asphalt over here. Unfortunate. Okay, though, because this is being worked on. We are delivering products here, or uh, resources here. Uh, but yeah, so apparently it's a lot faster, which is why I'd like to uh, use this instead for delivering bricks and stuff to our construction sites. Now, this could only just get finished building. Gave myself a lot of time. What's up over here? Workers not arriving quickly enough. I think it's partly because of our... Oh, the trains wouldn't affect that. Looks like we're doing okay. Looks like we're doing okay. Ah, uh, wow, I'm glad I caught that. Came here like right in time for that. How did that happen? Someone didn't cross when they should have. Okay, you're gonna unload? No, you're gonna load. O okay. Weird. Not sure that's exactly what I want, but it's been working so far, so I'm not gonna poke it. Are we almost done here? Test needs to arrive. Come on. Are we producing? All oh, the workers aren't here yet. Soon, though. Hopefully there's workers here. No. I guess that is affected by the trains, because this train needs to arrive here. No, 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 no. Bus. You. Go. Pick up some of these workers. There's so many of them waiting. Just need five. There we go. Good. You got another 40k waiting. This entire session at double speed, basically. Let's take a look at our finances again real quick. Ah, really? Oh, not like this. Come on, we can make that a positive. Oh, actually, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The last month was a positive. Not sure how this graph is split now. By the way, I, I'm tempted to send this train out just so I can end up with a with a nice chunky positive. At almost 50k. Maybe once it hits 50k, I'll send it out. All right, bricks and stuff being delivered over here, looks like. Yeah, it's unfortunate that they have to come one at a time. Well, that was kind of weird. Drifting around a little bit. Looks like he didn't pick up any workers. Oh, no, he did. Just a handful, though. All right, there's that 50. Send you out. We gotta get steel up here anyway, don't we? Yeah, we do. Hopefully that'll give us enough time. Produce enough steel. We do produce steel pretty quickly. Impressive. Where'd that train go? Oh, wow, that was fast. Alright, in comes the 50. We actually end up right about where we started this session. That'd be hilarious. Alright, looks like this work is getting done finally. Or it's not. Oh, there we go. Kind of weird. Bricks are being brought in. Board concrete steel. Almost done. Where is that train? Is that train coming back? 
it is. I'll probably turn around. Then you back to the customs house. Okay, fine. Get to the steel mill first. And then we'll send you back to the customs house. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, and around you go. Excellent, beautiful. Glad they can turn around and they're still. Just because I want the steel for this to be picked up and dropped off. Oh, looks like it already has been. God damn. Well, nonetheless, we have made money this month. Less than last month. Oh, we're, we're losing money. Oh, that's just, it's February now. All right, well, let's see this year versus last year. Last year, we lost 1.8 million. Let's see if this year we can make more money than we lose. That's going to be our next challenge here. So far, it's looking good so far. <laughs> I'll look at this month. It's okay. We're currently spending money. There we go. Steel's being loaded up. And again, once, once steel and fuel and oil and bitumen is all being exported, we're going to be making so much money. This session's really kind of focused on that uh, warehouse and stuff, hasn't it? Hope you guys don't mind. Again, we'll get the fabric factory up and running next session, maybe. Uh, maybe we have enough time this session. But we did, actually, you know what? We did sort a lot of stuff out. The livestock farm is working now. Power is running out constantly, which is always my favorite uh, thing to take care of. Let's sort this out. Let's sort this out. Quickly. These buses are coming. They just don't bring as many people as maybe they need to. Which just tells me that I need more houses back over here. I think this is where they picked them up. It might be a matter of timing, it might be not enough houses, but something or the other needs to be done to, to make that movement faster. What's the deal here? Bunch more bricks. And boards. Bricks and boards are right here. Come on. Come on now. Oh, you know what's annoying is they probably go here to load up and then they have to loop around this way. Oh, we just finished this construction, so you can go this way. Workers are hopefully arriving. Yes, indeed. That bus brought 51 workers. Perfect timing. This 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 uh, truck was able to use this loop around. Beautiful. Alright. Construction's happening. That's crazy. I, this is awesome. I mean, I feel really good about this. This game does a good job of making you feel pretty uh, happy when you accomplish something like this. At least personally, that's my opinion. Feels cool. That's, uh... We built... Almost everything you see on screen right now. Here, if I do that... We built the majority of stuff you see on screen right now. The only thing that isn't built by our own workers and resources is this structure over here. Everything else, oh, okay, and a little bit of this little bridge over here in the corner, but listen, there. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, it feels good. It feels real good. It really feels kind of special. Alright, very cool. Very, very cool. Hopefully this will get done, yeah, just a matter of days and a little bit of a uh, handful of resources more. And what's the deal over here? Carrying a lot, buddy. Carrying a lot. Get to 50, I'll send you out again. We might actually get up to 1.1. Alright, work's being done over here. We do need to get... Uh, tell me you're going for the construction site. Are you? Are you? I'll see you if you are. Yep. It is so much faster. You're just bringing bricks, though. Why not just bring the boards as well? We go construction's begun or continuing i guess all right good stuff very good stuff all right almost done it's so close it's so close and you're almost at 50 as well don't want to send it out when it's at 50. all right bring us some more bricks in yeah this is this is quick i wish it would carry boards as well but i'll take it Oh, bricks arrive. That's all the bricks we need. Oh, we still need boards before we can uh, continue. Oh, it's weird that it goes up this way. I guess it's faster. I don't understand how that works, but I'll take it. Okay, 
I'm guessing you're gonna bring up the boards. Yeah. Why would you only bring 2.1 when you can actually bring a lot more? Because you're bringing... Nope, you're going to the customs hub. Kind of weird. Very weird. 5.7 left. I, I, I want it to be done today, so to speak. It's also weird how the work days don't match up with the actual days. I don't know what that is. I wish it would... Oh, 50 work days, but if you have 75 workers, then that's in one day. That's 70. Okay, I, I think I got it. All right, cool. Just trying to figure out where the math comes from, basically. Oh, here comes the night. Can we finish this on the 15th of February? Can we do it? Also, you need to. Oh, good. Wow, 150 tons is 58k. And we're actually loading up 150 tons, staying afloat, making that money. Finish this. Finish this. Come on. We're so close. So close. That open hall. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Bring those boys. These workers just want to go home. Tell me you've brought enough. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Handful of days left. Done. It's done. We, we did it. We did it. This is our work. Oh man. That feels great. Alright. Let's go ahead and purchase... Uh, electronic components and mechanical components, they get really expensive. Oh my god. It's set... I mean, I guess I could set it to manual... Or sorry, auto purchase. We have a constant supply. Um, but, you know what we're gonna do instead? Instead, we're gonna go ahead and call it a session here, folks. That was uh, an entire session dedicated to something that's going to help us be a lot more profitable in the future. With this, and you know what, I'm quite happy with how the setup looks as well. Uh, with this all done, we are now able to manufacture, well, manufacture, build our fabric factory using only our own workers uh, and mostly our own resources because uh, we'll still need to import the, where are we? We'll still need to import the mechanical components, but everything else you see here listed for the fabric factory will be produced and supplied by us that's a cool feeling that's a cool feeling folks and on top of that to top it all off we are making money last month 36k this month we've already made 36k it's only halfway ish two-thirds of the way through the month um we're at 1.1 million like i said we don't actually have financial troubles i just have to be a bit more cautious with my approach a bit more smart with my approach and last month we spent where to go? Uh, fabric. 24k on the import of fabric. We're gonna cut that off soon. And hopefully pretty soon we're gonna cut off the coal ore imports as well. Iron will take a little bit longer, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Profits abound. Not that I care only about money, of course. I'm not some capitalist pig, but you know, money makes the world go round. Alright folks, that's this session. I hope you had a good time. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Please leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis to keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, Das Vidanya.